Hey, everybody, it's Melissa Swader here with Real Talk, Real Business, Real People, and we are back in the studio, and I am so excited to be sharing this with you. Um, you know, I've been so busy, for those who have known, um, I've been so busy with finishing my audiobook, and I always have to start with that because, you know, I haven't been in the podcast studio for months, and, you know, last year it was a little crazy because just trying to finish up. Uh, you know, start my audiobook and deciding to do that because I had so many requests for the audiobook. My paperback and ebook, you know, Kindle is available on Amazon, and my audiobook is now available on Audible and also on iTunes. So now you can uh, check it out if you just want to listen to me and while you're driving or if you're on a plane. You get to kind of hear what I have to say. Um, I know a lot of you who watch my vlogs, uh, my two-minute, you know, business and marketing tips. I've had several different types of blogs, you know, marketing with Melissa. I've had Tuesday tips. You uh, and 22 is my latest for this year. But I get to come in in my podcast studio and really talk about um, you know, bigger topics and elaborate on the some of the things that I've been doing, you know, in uh, past months or what I feel is a current topic of today, society. Um, one of the things I wanted to share with you, and I'm really excited about this subject because, you know, the women in commercial real estate. So, you know, a couple years ago, and I wanted to explain this a little bit to you because I know that it's um, really, I feel like it's really important to spread this message. So if you are a woman in this industry, into the commercial real estate industry, I want you to understand no matter where you are in business from, you know, being a junior associate or associate advisor to advisor that three to five years, you know, mark. Um, to that six to 10 year mark, you know, commercial real estate is always evolving. So you have to evolve along with it. Um, that means, you know, education, that means, you know, networking, that means maybe joining organizations or just getting, you know, um, getting wrapped up with the right people and really knowing your tribe and finding that support system. So I really wanted to explain a little bit about the women in commercial real estate and how this actually got started. So back in, uh, you know, a few years ago, we won't even go into the details about that, uh, just was in a really bad position professionally. Um, you know, I was, the more that I felt like I was uh, rising as a woman in commercial real estate, you know, media affiliations were recognizing me as a you know, outstanding women in business, you know, back in 2018 with the Phoenix Business Journal, you know, subsequently, you know, after that year, I started getting recognized all over, you know, by all the different things that I was doing as a marketing professional, you know, uh, as a director for a commercial real estate brokerage. So even though I've owned my marketing agency for 23 years for, you know, six of those years, I was a director and I took everything that I was doing for my own business. And I basically gave a, a, an employer, me, employer perspective and ran it like I would run my own business. So, of course, I was rising, you know, slowly to the top because, you know, in my head, I'm I'm a business owner. I don't know any other way to, to than to do what I do as a business owner. So, um, but I felt like the more that I was getting recognized, the more I got less support and less support and less support and less support. And pretty soon there were no female, really no females in the office. And uh, it was just a boys club. And I don't even care to say that now because it's been, you know, a few years. And um, but, you know, at the point where I felt like I needed to have a place where people could go to. If there were other women that were feeling the same way or feeling like they weren't getting the support internally, I wanted to make sure that I had created a platform that women could go to to feel comfortable and feel welcomed and didn't feel vulnerable uh, so much that so that they didn't ask the questions or they didn't have a place to go. So, you know, back in to, uh, January of 2020, I had created the Facebook group, Women in Commercial Real Estate. And then I had created the page uh, to go along with that, 
which is the handle is at empower, empower, W-I-C-R-E, which is also what we use on social media. We use that hashtag and we use the women in Cree as our hashtags. So if you see that anywhere, you'll know that that really stemmed from our, you know, building our platform on on Facebook. Now, over the years, you know, back in uh, summer of 2020, I launched it. I made it official. You know, even though I started this in January, I didn't do really anything with it because of COVID. I felt it was perfect timing for me to announce this and get more women to join our platform and join this network of women who could lean on each other and ask for support and, you know, offer best practices and, you know, post their listings and, and all this other, you know, anything that was relatable to, you know, the industry. Now, since then, we, we've grown to almost 700 members on our Facebook group. And, you know, over the last year and back in August, which I'm really excited because last year in August, we I launched um, the Empowering Women in Commercial Real Estate uh, monthly Zoom calls. Now, I know y'all know we were completely overwhelmed by Zoom in 2020. I mean, God, the COVID, everybody, um, you know, just literally, it was just a horrible, horrible situation all over the world that we were all faced with. And we just really had to, we had to make these adjustments and it was hard. It was hard. And, you know, uh, especially, you know, where it comes to business and I felt like we, you know, we had to find a way to communicate better than just this, the, the Facebook group. Um, even though there was interaction, there still is today. There's interaction every single day. People are posting their listings. People are posting, you know, their wins. Um, it's really important. Our motto is to inspire, to motivate, to encourage and uh, sell, elevate and celebrate our wins together. And that was really important to me because I felt like I didn't have anybody internally at the time to ever like congratulate me, except for a couple of people that I'm still close with today. Um, but, you know, you need that every day in a workplace. So um, if you're not getting it, you have to seek somewhere else to find it. So that's why some people just leave their brokerages and find other brokerages or you know, or they join a platform like ours, and then they feel like they're getting the support they need to succeed in the real world, in the real workplace. But, you know, as time went on, I thought, okay, I'm going to create these calls. And, you know, if 10 people showed up, good, because, you know, you always have to start somewhere. And I say this all the time, it's not like anything that anyone's ever achieved in their business or their life that they did not start at day one. And that's the most important part of the message that I have for all the women in commercial real estate is you, everybody who's successful, those top producers, those influencers, you know, those change makers, they still had a day one, just like you and, you know, or a day or year five, just like you. But just because you're in year three and year four doesn't mean that you've really nailed down you know, that coffin doesn't mean, you know, every single thing, people still need support, they still need help. So starting these monthly calls was really awesome. Because, you know, we had 110 120 people on our first call. Um, you know, since then, I think we average about 50 to 70 people per call. And I'm okay with that. Um, because that's 50 to 70 people or women and men, some men have come on to support us that that can share insight into the business. Now, you know, most calls are scripted and I want you all to know um, this is not just another Zoom call. This is, you know, I'm not reading from a Q&A, you know, sheet like I'm interviewing. I don't have like panelists. You know, that's not what these Zoom calls are about. It literally is an open discussion for what our current commercial real estate trends are at that moment, whatever's happening. So some people might be struggling. Some people might be celebrating. You know, some people might have questions on maybe listing platforms or comps or how to pull names for database for cold calling. I mean, we're all over the place when it comes to the topics of discussion because these are the fundamentals that you all need to succeed. 
So what better way to bring women of all sorts of experience from the, you know, from from day one to, you know, 30 something years, you know, in the business. I mean, we have somebody on, in our group on our platform 50 years in the business. I mean, shh, mic drop. I mean, God love her for hanging in there for 50 years. But that tells you also that she loves what she does. And she might be a seasoned, you know, uh, commercial real estate broker, but she's able to provide some really great insight to the people who are still learning. So, you know, there is no good. Now, I've had conversations with some people who say that there's no value, you know, as a seasoned advisors, there's no value for them to be on the call. I'm going to pause for a second, because when I hear that, that actually hurts my heart. Um, I feel if going back to the art of reciprocation, uh, podcast show is if you feel that you are so above everybody else or that you feel that your senior advisory ship is so superior to those that are younger or that are um, just new to the business then you have completely missed the entire concept of women supporting women in commercial real estate because that is the whole point. You may not learn a thing. It's possible. I don't believe it, but it's possible. Um, But what you can bring to somebody who needs that help is completely invaluable. Like you, you are liquid gold for these people. I mean, if I had a question that I didn't understand and you came out and knew it by the back of you, I would be so grateful and thankful to somebody who offered me that kind of information and helped me. I mean, the reason why all these organizations ha- are created, you know, CCIM, CR, uh, you know, any any designation is that they are building programs and educational value within the infrastructure of their entire business to help you grow, to help you become successful, to give you the tools, to give you the resources that you need to succeed. The women in commercial real estate platform is exactly the same thing, except there's no cost. It's just the cost of your time and the value that you give to the other women and the the value that you're going to receive back from the other women. I've had so many conversations with you know, new advisors who, you know, or even just on our Facebook group for that matter, you know, people, you know, ladies are posting saying, I'm really having some doubt. I really don't know what I need to do. I'm not getting the support that I need. Should I stay? Should I stick it out? I mean, what can I do to to make some money? I'm halfway to broke and I need to make some money to take care of my family. Well, innately, as a woman, you would think, you know, that you would just naturally, you know, offer some advice or help. And I'm so proud of these women because on our Facebook group, they come in, these ladies are just strong, you know, damn. I mean, they're like, they just, they just come in, comment, Hey, do this. You should try this. You need to contact this person. You need to check out this person. This is what it is about. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because, you know, uh, I, I strongly believe in the power of, you know, elevating other people and uplifting other people. And when you do it on, as a bigger, as a community, you know, then the the it's easy to get through and overcome some of the obstacles and the challenges that you're facing because you never had the answers. So no matter where you are, you have to ask the questions. And there is no silly question. There's no dumb question. Ask the question. Um, There's no point in walking around every day without the answer. So just ask the questions. I don't care if you're in our platform or not. Throw it out there. If you need an answer, throw it out there. If you you need to know how to do something, how are you going to learn? So... So the women in commercial real estate, I feel, is, is, you know, for, you know, all types of people in the business. And we welcome our, you know, our supporters, our vendors, our partnerships. We welcome, you know, all of our sponsors that come onto our monthly calls. You know, it's been amazing. You know, thank you to, you know, so many, Berkshire Hathaway, Georgia Properties, Commercial Division, Dottie and Stevens. I'm going to throw a shout out to her. 
Uh, she was actually one of our first sponsors in the very beginning, I think back in like August or September. And we are celebrating our one year anniversary on the 17th of August. And uh, she is our sponsor once again. So it starts with her one year an- anniversary. I think that's really awesome. So I wanted to shout out to Berkshire Hathaway in um, Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, also to, you know, um, other Berkshire Hathaway, you know, uh, brokerages. Uh, We have Town Realty, Janet Moore in uh, Virginia. Uh, We have uh, Tiffany Curry uh, with um, Houston. She's in Houston, Texas. So it's been amazing for the entire, you know, BHHS uh, network. Uh, we've also had a uh, co-star sponsor and LoopNet sponsor and comp stack. So I wanted to give a big shout out to our sponsors because with what you do for us, you make it possible to be able to get out there and market and push out our, um, our platform. And it's amazing to bring these, these women together and learn from you and what you, what you can, what kind of value, what kind of service you can bring to them to provide the tools and resources they need to succeed. So, you know, it's all knowing um, that we come together and make it happen for each other. Uh, One of the things that, you know, I'm so proud about is also, you know, when we are posting our anything onto our Facebook group, uh, I also take all that information and I decided to create other social media challenge, you know, channels, you know, platforms for us. So, you know, we can be found on, um, you know, not only our Facebook group, but also our Facebook page. And we are on LinkedIn and we are on Instagram and Twitter. And we have our website, www. Check it out womenincree.com, of course. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our uh, hashtags because I had mentioned that earlier that we use Empower, W-I-C-R-E. Empowering women in commercial real estate does not take away from anything you've accomplished as a man or a woman. Empowering somebody in general is taking what they do And respecting everything they've done, everything that they have achieved and throwing their name down on your own social media and saying, you know, I have to congratulate so-and-so Jane Smith for her outstanding work in XYZ. I mean, she is crushing it in the industry. She deserves all the recognition. If you're not following her, get connected with her. She is freaking amazing. Now, that person who gets that notification and gets that tag, not only you are going to change their day, you're going to make their day, but they're going to feel so incredibly touched by things that you do to empower them. And, And you're not doing anything except giving them 30 seconds a minute of your time by letting your connections know what kind of person that person is. So when I throw out, you know, uh, a post and I tag a couple women and I say, these are the women that are doing this and they're out there killing it and they're crushing it. And y'all need to, to check them out. It's because I want people to get to know the people who are in my circles. They're strong, they're intelligent, you know, they're top producers, they're new advisors. They are, they are, hungry, you know, they are thirsty for knowledge, they are change makers, deal makers, they are influencers, and I have no problem as a media professional, as a nationally recognized media professional to put down someone's name and say you must follow this person because this person kicks ass. So, impact does that take away from me? No, not at all doesn't take away from me at all. But what you do, you look at me if you have respect for who I am as a media professional or what I do in the industry. Then you're like, okay, if Melissa's throwing out a name of Jane Smith, I'm going to go like Jane Smith and I'm going to go follow her 
And I'm going to see what Jane Smith is about because she's got to be somebody because Melissa, you know, talked about her. And it's the same way that I see social media when I see, when I read on Twitter, especially, or LinkedIn for that matter, I see posts and they're tagging each other and they say, you know, check out these people. This is who you need to follow. I really love that because I actually scroll my mouse over there if I'm on my laptop and I go see if I'm connected with them. Like immediately I see if I connected with them because the entire reason why you're on a professional platform such as LinkedIn, especially uh, Twitter, you know, it's professional, but it's opinionated. But you still get connected with many people. Um, If you went through my Twitter feed, uh, you know, months ago, I don't know how long ago that was, but I maybe it was even last year. I don't know. I don't remember. But I was doing Friday follows, you know, hashtag Friday follows. In fact, you could probably type that into the browser in Twitter and check out all the people that I wanted other people to follow. And it works. You know, because people want to know who you're tagging and they want to get to know the, the people in our, you know, Cree community, which is what I use on on Twitter, you know, hashtag Cree community, because, you know, not everybody knows each other yet. You know, we're 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 in a we're in a very large community. It's a big, big industry, but it's a small community, right? As we get to know each other and we learn to support each other, then you just that's just the power of connections. And getting to know the people. So I feel like the same way with commercial, the women in commercial real estate is, you know, if you are that person that wants to be connected to to more people and build up your relationships, you know, across the country. And just because, you know, I have half the women in like Atlanta, you know, East Coast, Midwest, you know, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. So there are several people here from, you know, Arizona. You know, I want to be connected to them because if anyone ever reaches out to me and says, hey, do you know an advisor in, you know, Atlanta, Georgia? Well, I've got 50 ladies on our map on womenincree.com. We have a interactive map that you can go to if you are looking to empower a woman and want to work with a woman and you want to refer them out some business, go to our interactive map and go find where you're looking for. We've got pins all over the the country on where our ladies are. And I don't think we even have all of them in there because we have close to 700 members and we probably have 200, 300 pins. So I still haven't got, you know, everybody uploaded into the, the, the website, but you definitely can always reach out to me if you needed a referral. And, um, but that is the power of building these relationships. And trust me, I've, I, I'm just so amazed at all the relationships that I see forming from our women in commercial real estate platform. And it is truly amazing. So women supporting women is, is by far number one in our platform, but you men out there, as I said, I don't have my book right here with me, but in my book, I talk about men supporting women in my book, One Yellow Brick. And trust me when I say this, guys, um, when you post to social media, and I hope y'all are listening, watching, when you post to social media on any given day for no reason at all, one time, one, one per day. Just go, you know what? I just wanted to give a shout out to so-and-so and and -and so-and-so. I think she's doing some amazing things. And if y'all are not connected to her, you know, check her out. Do you know how how important that is? Imagine, imagine the possibilities of all you men out there on Twitter or on LinkedIn just one time, maybe not LinkedIn, because, you know, you should only post maybe like in the morning and, you know, in the evening or your peak times, whenever you get the most feedback, you can check that out in your analytics on LinkedIn, but that's a whole other podcast. Um, But on Twitter, you know, you can post as many times in a day, just keep that, you know, keep those tweets coming. You know, they're going to eventually see your tweets. And even if they don't, they can always click on your profile and see all your tweets, right? So take just one, two minutes out of your day, guys, and post something on Twitter and tag a woman in commercial real estate and 
give them a shout out, say something nice, say something to recognize what they're doing out there. Because you know what? The more that you're doing it, the more that you empower these women, the more they feel good, the confident, they want to work with you. And trust me when I say this, guys, you know, we will work with all the women, you know, all over the country. But if there's no women in that specific area, guess who's next? You know, we got to find the right person for the right deal. So you build those relationships because, you know, women are loyal. That's, that's, let's just face it. So, but we also think very differently too. So we can come up with some really different feedback than a man's perspective and a woman's perspective and see where we're all coming from as well. So working with women and collaborating with women is powerful. And I think that y'all need to, to make sure that you start thinking about how you're going to do that in the future, because trust me, you build these relationships more with just not the, your, your men in your group, but also the women and you empower them you know, it could be life changing. It only takes one person to change the landscape, the complete landscape of your business. You know, one, one person can do that for you. So on behalf of all the women in commercial real estate, I, you know, I invite you women, you licensed advisors to please and any marketing professionals that are involved with you know, their brokerages are representing their developers or investors, developers to please come join our uh, Facebook group. It's right here. I'm just going to point right there. And um, you can just type it in women in commercial real estate on Facebook. And uh, we have a page as well. So our page is handle is empower W I C R E. And you can't miss it because if you type empower W-I-C-R-E in your Google browser, like hashtag empower W-I-C-R-E, you're going to see all of our posts and everybody's posts that are using that hashtag um, as it's trending, you know, on LinkedIn for sure. Uh, The same thing with women in Cree. We want all women in Cree to use that hashtag because if you also use that hashtag and search that into your LinkedIn browser, you know, in the search bar and you type in hashtag women in Cree, make sure you follow it for one. Uh, You can go ahead and follow it right when you type it in. And you're going to see all the posts for anyone who's using the hashtag. You just scroll down and you're going to see all of our posts. And I bet you 90% of them is from our network and our platform, but anyone who's using it will show up there. So, um, That's the power of social media is that, you know, you visibility is important, but the more people that are using it and the more people who are posting, the more people are empowering the women in commercial real estate, the bigger and the stronger that we grow and the stronger we grow, the more chances that we all have to become successful because of the connections that we're building. So there's a reason why social media is there. It's not just to post just about you. It's to post to post about other people. And it's to post to gain valuable connections to build these relationships, which will empower your business and build the empire that you've always dreamed of. As I always say, sometimes your empire is not a multi-million dollar business, but it is the success and the journey that you you are taking to get there and you feel good about where you are at. Sometimes that's just your empire all in itself. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast show and I hope you think about what I'm saying to take a minute to uplift a woman post on social media for all you ladies out there. You know, please, you are warmly welcome to join our Facebook group. Trust me when I say this, you can ask anyone for a testimonial. It's awesome and makes you feel good. And we've got some really big news coming up, but you're going to have to attend that uh, empowering women in commercial real estate zoom call on August 17th, right here, August 17th. And um, I hope to see you. Our event is on LinkedIn, but you can also go to uh, our website, womenincree.com and go ahead and check out our monthly calls on the tab at the, the, the top of the, the tab and take you to the landing page and all that information is there too. So if you are a vendor or anyone that it wants to get in front of the women in commercial real estate, we always welcome our partnerships and sponsors um, in different capacities. So please contact me 
and we can get you all set up and get you in front of, you know, all these ladies. And hopefully we can start working with you. So from today, I appreciate you all. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, Melissa Swader Real Talk on YouTube. And I'm also on uh, Anchor, you know, all the, the Spotify and, you know, everything, SoundCloud. So you can find me there as well. And, of course, always on social media. So this is Melissa Swader with Real Talk, Real Business, Real People. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.